Going off to college, going away uh, from the village was a really big deal for me because I carried with me when I went being connected to what was left of our culture, which really wasn't a lot at that time. I wanted to go away and come home and bring whatever it is I learned home with me. I just wanted to be, be a good influence. My name is David Voxley. I'm Simsian Indian from the village of Metlakatla, Alaska, and I'm a graduate of Seattle Pacific College. I decided that I was going to take this really huge chance and just be a carver. I've made a reputation for the last uh, 40 years as a totem pole carver. I've made 77 totem poles. I have three totem poles at Disney World. The Smithsonian uh, Museum of the American Indian, a couple of totem poles at Knott's Berry Farm, totem poles at University of Washington, many in Alaska. I've got a dozen in my, home, my own village. Quite a few places, yeah. When I get a chance to make things out of cedar and alder and wood like that, I know that I'm doing the same thing that was, that's been done for 10,000 years. You know, and what a feeling that is to know that I'm continuing it on, and then when I get a chance to teach them how to do what I know how to do, there's so much more to it than, than just making something to sell. It's, it's knowing that it was done generations and generations and generations ago. So many of our own people uh, don't see the value because they're trying to make it in this modern world. So trying to offer the pride in your culture and the knowledge of your language and your history and uh, the arts, uh, it's a struggle. But it's one that I accept with great vigor because I can feel the pressure on my shoulder. My grandfather used to say, it's a good weight, you know? It's a good weight to have that, to, to be a teacher. The journey that I've had, people call me a, a culture bearer because I've had the honor to uh, influence a lot of my own people in a, in a good positive direction. And there's a lot of people singing and dancing and, and doing art and things like that now that might not have been. I'm really grateful to, to be able to say I'm a graduate of Seattle Pacific. It was a wonderful experience. Uh, it was one of the biggest influences in, uh, of my life. There's a, a, a phrase in our language called, it's called Sa'am Tlwan. It means, may your name always be good. And uh, that's how we leave each other, you know, when we, we, we take leave of each other, you know. Sa'am Tlwan.